Hey Mirabella TV family, I just wanted to give a quick shout out here. Uh, spend some time in front of the camera instead of behind it. I uh, first and foremost wanted to say a big thank you, a heartfelt thank you to all of our fans and all of our subscribers. Uh, it's really lifting us up and it's really important to us that you keep on watching. Tell your friends. I especially wanted to give a shout out to our recent uh, surge in viewers. Uh, to we're totally overwhelmed. We're totally excited about it. Uh, I wanted to give a shout out to all of our fans and new subscribers from the Philippines. I wanted to give you a big salamat. I just learned that. I hope I said it right. Uh, thank you from the bottom of our heart. Um, we also have had viewers in Saudi Arabia. Thank you so much. Some in Canada, our neighbors to the north and all across the United States. I'm so humbled and I'm so thankful for the time that you're spending with us. Um, keep on liking, keep on subscribing, uh, tell your friends about it. Um, we're growing, we're just a Midwest family and uh, this is something that we're doing because it's Mirabella's dream. I also wanted to give a big special shout out to Alex Rojas Sanders. He has his own YouTube channel, and it's amazing. I would love for you guys to check it out. I put the link down below in the, in the description. Definitely visit his channel. Great guy, awesome channel. Uh, he does a lot of mountaineering, and he's an adventurer. Truly a great guy. Check it out. So, without further ado, Mirabella TV. Here comes Mirabella. Make sure you guys stay till the end. We're going to have some bloopers at the end of the video. You guys are going to love it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks for joining us. Here comes Mirabella. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. It helps us a lot. Welcome to our fish tank, guys. So guys, I know the snares are hiding around sometimes, but there's a little guy moving slowly as possible. And what's his name? His name is... Zesty! Now let's go down here and talk about Gary. He's down there, but I bet you can't see him. Yellow brown thing is Gary. He's a snail. Is he in SpongeBob's house? Yes, he is. And guess what? He lives here too. And, and who, who's this guy? This is Crush. Hello. <sighs> and who is this? A unicorn. Tell them what you said the other day when you were sleeping. When I was sleeping, first I said. It's a unicorn. It's a rainbow unicorn. And then second, I said, the dish is sturdy, ma. <laughs> and, then, and then I said, are you talking nonsense language? And I nodded yes and went to sleep. Our fish here are called neon tetras. How many do we have, Mirabella? Oh, they're not actually sturdy, little guys. Yeah. One, two, three, mm. eight, I realize. Yeah, they are school fish. They school together, and that helps them feel safe if they're nervous because we're filming. And the little guy in here, that's Gary. He is our mystery snail, and we have four nearite snails. They are a lot of fun, not too hard to take care of the tank, and we always enjoy spending time watching them. That back there, so you know, is a sponge filter. It collects all the beneficial bacteria that helps the tank stay clean. And in back there, that is our normal filter, our mechanical filter. We keep the water nice and clean for them, so they're nice and happy. There are two nearite snails in there. They're not 
see best friends action. Give me a present the little songs, Turbo and Wally. We are the twins. I love the twins. I love the twins. We are happy. <laughs> And this, in case you guys were wondering, is a Marimo moss ball. Now we keep a lot of these in our fish tank to keep the water nice and clean. And it actually eats uh, some of the harmful chemicals that can build up called nitrates in the fish tank. And it is very hard to cycle a fish tank. Anybody who's ever not had a fish tank, uh, be prepared. It takes some time and you might have some poor little friends uh, pass away. So just be patient. Um, Keep a clean tank and uh, it, it'll cycle. It usually does it on its own. Noel is our golden Greek tortoise. How old is he again, Kimberly? He's about eight and a half. All right, here it goes. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, Peanut. Yeah, we call him Peanut for short. Now he's going to go into his warm, soaky water. Yeah, he is cold-blooded, so it takes him a while to get started up. I'm going to turn this light off, guys, because it might be a little hard on his eyes here. We want you to get the best shot possible of our little friend here. Tortoises are great pets, but one thing you need to be aware of is that they do a lot of sleeping. They do sleep most of the time. They're not going to waste energy on things um, so much, especially in the winter, because it's really cold here right now. They don't do a whole lot. Um, he sleeps a lot. He'll come out, he'll eat a little bit, get some water when he needs to. And he hears me talking right now, so he's looking. He has a little bit of what is called metabolic bone disease, so he's had some cracks in his beak. Uh, his beak is a little misshapen, but he's he's otherwise very healthy. We haven't had any health problems with him for quite some time. So uh, our policy is don't mess with him too much. We give him the, the calcium and the lights that he needs, and we do our best to take care of him. And let me see if I can make him do a happy dance. Hi, Noel. I love you. He does his little happy dance with his legs. They're very smart, and they're bigger in personality than you would ever think. What do you think of Noel Mirabella? Well, I see he's a really cute little tortoise, but you see his little leg bumping there. That's his happy dance. He is a very can happy little guy. Can you see if I can make him happy? I love you. I love you. <laughs> he's bumping his leg up and down. That means he's a little groggy here in the Midwest. It gets pretty cold, and he knows it. Believe me. Yeah. In the summer, he's digging and banging and running around looking for a girlfriend. Especially springtime. But we're not going to get him a girlfriend. He's he's on his own. He's a little handsome bachelor. And these guys will actually live to about 85, up to 90 plus years. So. This little guy is going to be with our little Mirabella long after we're gone. But that's okay. If you look at it as a lifetime pet, you never have to worry about the sadness of losing him. As long as you take care of him, give him the food and the lights and the environment that he needs, they last and last and last. Also, guys, when it, 
that little sheet over there, you, you see it? His background? His background, he actually thinks like he's in the nature with that background. Even when he faces around all the way in that direction, he sees everything. And he's like, am I in the nature? And next we're going to give you a little footage of what our little friend here sees on a day-to-day -day basis. Now for some fun in the snow. Now for the sun in the snow. Now for the <laughs> <laughs>